they have really dragged my mother. It's been very hard for us to really just uh, just comprehend everything. It's just overwhelming because as far as I remember my father, he was a very loving man, um, very family oriented, and he loved my mother so much. So much that the fact is that um, he took us from Kenya and um, due to our safety there was a lot of issues as far as when I was very young all I remember was me and my brother being uh, rushed to the airport uh, in the midst of the night and that's the last time I ever saw Kenya so being here today um, has brought a lot of all those things that I'm reflecting on, as I was telling Mr. Omari. And um, to every story, there's an ending. And I just want justice today. And that is why we're all here. So um, in the midst of it all, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, I just want justice for my family and it's just unfortunate that uh, we can all, cannot all just sit together and talk as a family instead of handling it this way. I just want this all to be over. And as far as my stepbrother is here today also, Charles, yes, there's a lot of overwhelming anger, but I still love him as my stepbrother. But um, it's just so unfortunate we have to be here like this. Uh, as far as I say, everything other else, I just want it to be a, a peaceful, resourceful, and it can just be resolved in the most um, manifold and respectful way. That's all I have to say. Go ahead. My name is Ronnie Chuaya Nachai. I'm present. And Shanice Main. Shanice Main.
Kiva, it will be very long and very contentious. If that day many matters have not been taken, then we can be able to, to deal with those matters. Thank you very much, ma'am. Much obliged, my lord. A lot we have flat. That's the normal. Uh, my lord, commenting on this particular matter outside the precinct of this honorable court. Uh, this is a very private personal matter uh, attaching on the family of matters that are before this honorable court. That would be my prayer to this honorable court as an officer of this court. Uh, Why are you looking at the Maria Tissi? <laughs> <laughs> but Lord, if I'll respond briefly, let him make an, a formal application and then join the, the media because they have got to defend their rights. So, my Lord, I don't think this court is incompetent to be swayed by social media talks. This is a competent court. It will make decisions based on the evidence before you, and my Lord, ignore that fear. These people make their money by covering these stories. Okay, but this reason for instance, The estate of uh, the late uh, Simon Nyachai came up in court today for purposes of uh, having the originating sermon application in which one of the widows who was left out, the U.S. family that was let, left out, was uh, meant to be heard today so that they can be given provision and that they can be recognized as part of the family. Now, due to the pressing nature of our time, the court has been busy all day. The same has not, uh, has not uh, taken off. We were keen and we besieged court to uh, accommodate us and give us the earliest date. And uh, on account that the court was uh, proceeding for leave tomorrow, it gave us the first day, that is the 25th, when it shall be resuming. Now, uh, equally while in court we saw the estate, the lawyers representing the estate, the entire estate that has excluded our client, trying to uh, gag or uh, apply to have the media gag from uh, following these proceedings. And uh, that was, uh, that was uh, not here or there. And the same was, uh, was uh, the, the, the court uh, refused to pronounce itself on that because the media houses and owners have not been uh, enjoined such that they were going to be uh, condemned and hard. Equally, our client, uh, our clients, the four clients, that's uh, Margaret, Rodney, John Powell, and the sister, all they want is justice. And uh, the ABLE team led by Mr. Omari is uh, really pushing hard to have uh, Margaret's uh, case hard. She'll have a day in court on the, on the 25th of uh, July when it will... Uh, the world will get to know the manner in which the U.S. family has suffered in the past, has been uh, secluded from and excluded from the from, from uh, benefiting from the fam from the entire family. These are matters that the court has prioritized and uh, that uh, it's going to deal with first before another issue. The, we understand there are other fights in the matter, but this is the matter that has been given 
priority. We wait and see how the battle proceeds on the 25th. Hi, by the name Rodney flew in from, a country, from abroad to come and appear in court. He's present with us. And on that day when the matter will be there, we will bring the widow and all the siblings, those are the children of the late Simon Yachai, to testify. This will be a landmark case on the rights of widows, especially widows who are outside of this country. The diaspora widows have always been discriminated, have always not gotten voice, and we believe that it, through this matter we'll achieve that. Of great importance is the attempt to gag the media, the attempt to stop the public knowing exactly what is being transpired. We appreciate that the learned judge declined the order to stop the media from broadcasting and telling the public. Remember Simon Nyechai, the light, was a PC. He was a, a chief secretary. He was a cabinet minister. He was a, pol a presidential candidate and a serious leader national. The public have a right to know who are his children and who are his widows. And we vehemently opposed an attempt to gag the media and we completely told the, the estate that the judge, learned judge, cannot be swayed by the sentiments on the social media. Article 35 of the Constitution provides for, and Article 34, the right to information, the public have a right to that information. So we'll stand firm. We will ensure that justice for this son who was chased out of the funeral of his father, he will have the decency now to appear and commemorate his father with his family, with the honor that they deserve. And they'll be entitled to the vast estate by that his father got. Kofupi kumekuwa na
Um, I'm sorry I'm a little bit emotional today, but um, what I'd like to say is that um, today I'm here because I want justice and I believe that uh, it's not really about the money or the way that this has unfolded. Um, they have really dragged my mother. It's been very hard for us to really just, uh, just, he was a very loving man, um, very family oriented, and he loved my mother so much. So much that the fact is that um, he took us from Kenya, and um, due to our safety, there was a lot of issues. As far as when I was very young, all I remember was me and my brother being uh, rushed to the airport uh, in the midst of the night. And that's the last time I ever saw Kenya. So being here today um, has brought a lot of all those things that I'm reflecting on, as I was telling Mr. Omari. And um, to every story, there's an ending. And I just want justice today. And that is why we're all here. So um, in the midst of it all, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, I just want justice for my family. And it's just unfortunate that uh, we can all, cannot all just sit together and talk as a family instead of handling it this way. I just want this all to be over. And as far as my stepbrother is here today also, Charles, yes, there's a lot of overwhelming anger, but I still love him as my stepbrother. But um, it's just so unfortunate we have to be here like this. Uh, as far as I say, everything other else, I just want it to be a, a peaceful, resourceful, and it can just be resolved in the most um, manifold and respectful way. That's all I have to say. Sure. Sure. Go ahead. My name is Ronnie Chuaya Nachai. Miss Margaret Chaya. Muchiri, Paul. We can use Macharia now for, for record purposes, my love. <laughs>
their, 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 their thing which are happening in the background, so far as the beneficiaries are concerned. Um, so I'll kindly ask for a very early date. Probably I know your judges. Uh, Timetable is quite, it's quite, it's quite tight. I'm already giving this in December. So because I've given it in July, after I've come from the I'm proceeding to today is my last day. So I cannot give you any undertaking until I come from you. So I'm giving you a bit. Give you the computer. My Lord, we are agreeable to any date as the court has directed. My Lord, it will be fairly long if uh, it will be many matters have not been taken, then we can be able to. Thank you very much. A lot of Thank you very much, man. Much obliged, my lord. My client, the widow is uh, abroad. If you can do hybrid, fine. Kindly with your permission. Yes, we huh? yes, did. As we'll be in physical court, so that uh, my client can testify virtually. Okay. Lord, we are flexible to the court's diet. Lord, if I'll respond briefly, if anybody wants to make an application to guard the media, let him make an, a formal application and enjoy the, the media because they have got to defend their rights. So, my Lord, I don't think this court is incompetent to be swayed by social media talks. This is a competent court. It will make decisions based on the evidence before you and my Lord, ignore that fear. These people make their money by covering these stories. Okay, that is reasonable. Much of it. Thank you. My Lord, there's another matter. We talk later. We talk later. Very good. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
we understand there are other fights in the matter, but this is the matter that has been given priority. We wait and see how the battle proceeds on the 25th.